This video is about brazing with the oxygen acetylene torch. If you want to build something, you want to repair something, you want to be artistic, brazing is a good solution. We're going to go through all this step by step. We'll be talking about torches, regulators, brazing tips, how to light the torch, how to prepare your metal so that the bronze will flow and also some accessories that you might want to add to your oxygen acetylene torch outfit. And this is a 5 8 inch nut. In other words, it will take a 5 8 inch bolt. And I filled this with bronze. Now what I want to do is take this very thin O23,000 wire and braze it in there. Now this is not something that you're usually going to be doing, but it just shows you that you can get down to brazing something very heavy, which is the nut, and this O23,000 wire together. I can't really just begin brazing. I have to preheat this. Their bronze rod. And I'm dipping it in the powdered flux. And the first pass is in the deep part of the V. Just want to keep filling that V up. Now this is some steel pipe and it has about a quarter inch wall on it. Now if I want to brace it together and if I brace it just like this, there's really not that much space for the bronze to go. It'd be kind of like you know, just wrapping a piece of tape around it, kind of like a band-aid. So what I want to do is to grind this on the bench grinder so that I've got some space for the bronze to adhere to. Okay, ground these two pieces down. I'm going to go together like this. I'm going to put them in the vise here. Like so. Now we'll have plenty of room for that bronze to go down in there. Bring your base metal to red hot. Then put your brazing rod in between the flame and the work to be brazed. Getting a little bit of the paint burning off. Whenever you're doing tubing or pipe, you want to make sure that you clamp it. Braze it in one spot, and then let it cool. Turn it around, braze it in another spot, so you've got it completely brazed. Okay, here's our pipe. Been brazed, cleaned up a little bit. And since it was clamped in the vise, it's still straight. But if you're going to do pipe like this, make sure that you grind it so you have that V section in there so that the bronze can get down in instead of just being on top. 